Hello guys, how are you all doing? I'm going to walk you through my um, basic vocal chain, how to get that radio sound in your voice. So at the moment as I'm speaking to you, it's running through a preamp, which is a Focusrite Platinum, which gives you quite a nice sound, but I'm more into how to get that sound once you're into your door of choice. I'm working with Logic and I'll be working with Waves plugins. All of them will be found in the Waves Gold Bundle. If you want to get that bundle, if you don't have it, then you need to wait. Wait till they have a sale. I picked mine up for around £55, £60. Pounds. So keep your eye out because it does happen. So I've got a little vocal sample that I've just recorded in here. Bearing in mind, my good microphone, which is an Aston Origin, is broken. So I'm using this really, not rubbish, but cheap. This was £30. It's a gear for music microphone. So yeah, it's not great, but it's, it's all right. It's doing the job. So here's the sample that I recorded earlier. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. So that had no effects on the way in. It was just through the preamp with all the effects turned off and it's 100% dry. So we're going to start with the basic EQ. So this is the Logic EQ. I know I said a minute ago about um, waves. It will all be waves except for the odd bit that's in Logic. But any EQ will do the trick. You want to cut the low end. So I've got it rolling off from just before 100 hertz. I'm then going to do a dip around 200 and I'll do a little boost at around 10k and we'll take a listen to that. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. So you can hear there that it's cleaned up the low end. It's not got so much dirt going on down there and it's brought a little brightness to the top. So before the EQ, which I forgot to mention, is a, a noise gate, which will go on. I'm going to use the C1 gate by Waves. So I'll pop this on a loop and play it and we will remove the, the rubbish in between. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more. This. There you go. That's cleaned up all of the background noise. So now what? I'm going to go and add a compressor. This is the H comp by again waves. You're going to want a fast attack. <clears throat> See when I'm doing the voiceover stuff, I go for quite heavy compression. So yeah, I've got it set around four to one and I'm going to bring that threshold up there. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. You can hear already that it's starting to get a bit more punchy. So now we're going to set up a bus track. Not sure how you're going to do it in your door. You need to have a little look online on how to set up a bus. But essentially what a bus is is when you send a track to another track and it'll be more clear why we do that in a moment. So in Logic, you click on the send, you choose the bus that you'd like to send it to. I've got none set up at the moment, so we'll just go with one. You can label that. What we're doing is parallel compression, so I will just call it PAR comp. Call it whatever you like. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to choose Make sure the track is stereo. I'm going to choose a stereo compressor. The reason that I'm going to choose a stereo compressor is if at some point I add stereo um, effects down here, they will still be stereo when they reach that last compressor. So it's the exact same compressor as before, but the stereo version. So very fast attack and a slow release. We're now going to put the ratio up to around 12 to 1 and we're going to push on that threshold. So 
this little knob here, you can see as I dial it around, hopefully you can see that moving. I think you can. The more I send up, the more compressed it gets. So that's why we put the, the compressor on a bus. There is another way to do it. You don't have to put it on a bus. I mean, the beauty of the bus is that I can then have other tracks go into that same compressor, which helps everything stick together. But if you just want to do it for one track, you can just use this control here. If it's dry, there's no compression. If it's wet, it's 100% compression. If you go in the middle, then obviously you've got 50%. But when we, we've got it on a bus, we keep it at 100 right there. So. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. So that's brought a lot more power to it. And you can hear that the S's are kind of getting a little out of control, but we'll deal with them in a moment. But before we do that, I'm going to go to the EQ. This is Logic again. This is a vintage tube EQ. Again, Waves do plenty of similar ones. I'm only using this one because I've already got it. It came with Logic. I'm going to set the frequencies to around 10 kilohertz. And I'm going to do a high boost. This is to bring out some of the top to make it a little sparkly. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is I'm also your... going to cut a little more low if I can. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. And some, you know, that just kind of controls the lows, but at the same time, you might want to add a few in as well to get that, um, that deep voice. But we'll, we'll start at 100 hertz and see what happens because sometimes when you add too much of the low, it just sounds boxy and muddy. It doesn't sound that great, but it's always worth trying it just in case. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. That sounds pretty decent to me. So as I said, you've got a few S's going on. So we can go in here and we can get a de -er, Which will get rid of the S's again from the Waves Gold. I always start it off with the male s because that gets the right frequency over there and then we just pull on this threshold this is your number one hit music station stay tuned for more hit classics so you can hear it had every time you see that little red bar pop down it's cutting off the s's to make them less crazy so that they're still there but they're not so so evident now that we've done that you're pretty much there. You just need to grab yourself a limiter. I know a lot of um, radio people like to just go normalize, but what normalizing does is not as good as what limiting does. <clears throat> so normalizing will basically grab everything and it will bring it up like this so that it won't be any louder than that peak right there. But we don't want to do it like that because when you've done that, these bits down here are still quiet. Although we've compressed them over here, so I mean, if I did bring out a bounce, then you would notice them a little bit more even. So let's do that so you can see what's going on. So there's a bounce. You can see that it's all nicely compressed and even. So yes, if you limit, if you um, was to normalize that, it would probably look something like that. With this peak being the highest one. But let's get rid of that. If you just pop a limiter on the end, you're crushing it. In effect, you set your limiter to about um, zero, um, sorry, negative 0 0.3. You can go a little higher. Don't go more than zero. But 0.3 is, um, is a good place. And then you bring the threshold. 
This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is... Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is move that onto my stereo track because that's what's clipping and causing a problem. This is your number one hit music station. So right here, you can see how much it is removing negative 7.7, .7, which is quite a lot, which is why you can hear it breaking up slightly. So we'll just dial that back. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is your number one hit music station. So there you go. Um, I can't actually bounce that out now because I've put it on the stereo track. But if I just bring it back over here, just for the purpose of you seeing it, we'll bounce it out so you can have a look. And it's all a lot more compressed. So, give me one moment. I'm now going to come back to this limiter and I'm going to crush it a lot just for the purpose of you seeing it. It won't sound good like this, but it's just so you can see what it's done. You get it? So it has just compressed and squashed everything. No, it will not sound good. Let me turn it down because I won't blast the ears off. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned. You know, it squashed everything. It's too much. But you get the idea. I just wanted to pop that there just so that you could see what it was doing. And sometimes, you know, like now, you pop the limiter on the end and you can um, hear the S's poking out a little more. But you can just go down and, um, you know, go back, tweak little things. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned. You know, you can come back to your de -esser. You can make it work a little harder. This is your number one hit music station. Or you can come back to one of your EQs. You can maybe you don't need that boost. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classic. Although it's more likely to be this guy here. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. That's pretty much tidied it up. But, um... Yeah, you know, there's there's other bits and pieces. I mean, once you've got that main um, vocal right there all tidied up, you could you can then go and put your effects on the end. You know, your modulation, uh, phasers, what we've got, flangers, microphasers, spreaders. You know, if you put a spreader on, you get like a stereo sound going on. This is your number one hit music station. That one isn't particularly great. Uh, what else do we have? Like you've got tremolo. This is your number one hit music station. I do believe I put the wrong one on there, but that's okay. We've got um, delay, so you can go mono to stereo delay. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more hit classics. But yeah, I think you get the idea of what you can do. So once you've got that basic chain of a gate, an EQ, a compressor, you don't necessarily need the next EQ. I just find it brings out a little bit more air in the voice. And then your de which again isn't always necessary. It depends how much S you've got going on. So as long as you've got that EQ, that gate and that compressor, you're pretty much set to go. Oh, and the parallel compression, of course. I mean, that really helps to bring things out. If I turn, let me turn this thingy off. 
and then I'll flick the parallel on and off for you. This is your number one hit music station. Stay tuned for more. I guess you can hear. It. I mean, it's quite subtle, but it brings out a lot more. Anyway, that just about covers it all. So there you go. I hope it helped a little bit. I know it wasn't amazing, but it was just a quick 10 minute thing. Thank you. Bye bye.